When it comes to brewing espresso at home, you need a lot more than just a machine and grinder. You might need a tamper, or maybe a knockbox, maybe some microfiber towels, or maybe even a milk pitcher, or two, or three, or four. Point is, there are a lot of little bits and pieces you need in addition to your machine and grinder. Ever since I got into the world of espresso brewing, back in March, right when a certain virus decided to take over the world, I've been researching the best versions of all the additional bits and pieces that you need. From practical things like a dishwasher safe knockbox and precision baskets and tampers, to luxury products like this milk pitcher. Well, one of the few things I have yet to upgrade to its quote unquote premium counterpart is my scale. When you're in a hobby where people are spending thousands of dollars on machines, grinders, and other parts just for that cup of delicious bean juice that we all know and love, of course you're going to have companies come out with premium versions of simple products. One of those companies is Akea. Now, this is not an attack on Akea. I do think that they make quality scales, and I particularly like the Akea Pearl for pour-overs, but in my opinion, you absolutely do not need to be dropping over $200 for their espresso scale. In fact, you don't need to be spending more than just 12 bucks. And that's where this comes in. This is the espresso scale that I've been using for nearly 10 months now, and it costs just 12 bucks. This scale comes from a company called Greater Goods on Amazon. Of course, I'll leave a link to this scale and other gear I talk about in this video in the description down below. When it comes to getting that perfect espresso scale, there are two things to look for. The first is size. Obviously, you're going to need a scale that's going to be small enough to fit under the group head of your espresso machine while accommodating an espresso glass or cappuccino cup of choice. Second needs to be fast accuracy. Okay, so while the mundane might look at us in confusion as we weigh and time every drop of grounds or liquid in and out of our coffee machines, us weird coffee people understand the importance of weighing our doses and measuring our shots to produce a great cup. Okay, so let's actually first take a step back and look at what a scale like the Akea Lunar has to offer for $225. Well first, it looks like it has a timer. That's pretty useful. Alternatively, Okay, so what else does the Lunar have? A flow mode? A timer mode that starts and auto tears when espresso flow is detected. Okay, uh, well my argument here is that you should be starting the timer when you first flip the switch or pull the lever. The time in between starting the machine and first drip can also vary, so I think that this function is useless, as you should definitely be measuring the time in between that as well. Okay, what else does the Lunar have? An auto tear and auto start timer mode. Time begins when an item is placed on the scale. Okay, but why would I want this to start as soon as I put my cup on the scale unless I'm also flipping the switch or lever at the exact same time I place down my cup? Alternatively... Okay, so it looks like the Akea Lunar also has something called Auto Tear Mode. I mean, alternatively... Okay, so far I'm not convinced that this scale should cost over 18 times as much as this one, but something has to justify that $225 price tag, right? Maybe it's reliability? Okay, well, this looks pretty reliable to me, and it's always measured this niche dosing cup at this exact weight since the day I've had it. So maybe it's speed then? Well, this looks to be working just fine to me, and in the 10 months of owning this, I have had no issues in achieving my goal brew weight either. Okay, so it does look like there is one feature that Akea has in their ecosystem of products that this scale definitely does not, and that's the app compatibility. So it looks like Akea has a series of apps that work with their scales to log flow rates, brew times, and while seemingly useful, this feature won't be necessary on the vast majority of espresso machine owners out there, as replicating flow rates itself might serve to be way too difficult. Even with this type of functionality, I'm not sure that it justifies that massive price tag, but I'm sure there are a few of you that might disagree. Again, I'm not saying that the Lunar is a bad product, I just don't think it has a feature set that justifies that $225 price tag. With that, I think my point has been made. If you're new to espresso and need a scale, just get this $12 one, use your phone as a timer, and save the extra 200 bucks. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your weird coffee friends, and I'll see you in the next one.